Hello and welcome to this tutorial for users of Microsoft Excel. This is recorded using Excel 2010, but if you're using any version from 2007 through to 2016 and Office 365, you should find many things on here very similar, if not identical, to the versions you're using. And in this tutorial we're looking at creating line charts. Now, we have looked at the other types of chart, the most common types of chart, which are the column chart, as you can see here, and the pie chart. Now for line charts, uh, they are suitable for a particular type of data. And as you can see here, this column chart is basically comparing the performance of the different movies in the Fred's Video Classics rental store. Now this set of data wouldn't really be suitable for a line chart because it's not recording sales over a period of time. It's just recording total sales and comparing them to other, to other movies. So one of the things to consider when you create a chart is, is the data suitable for the type of chart you're making? So if I come across to the first set of data we'll be using for the line chart, you'll see that it simply records total sales over a period of time. Now this type of data is perfect for a line chart. So what I'm going to do here is select the data first of all, and I'm going to select cells A2 down to H3. And as with all the other charts, we go to the Insert tab, and this time go to the Line Chart Options, and I'm simply going to select the very first one there, the 2D Line Chart with no alterations. And as soon as I click on that, you'll see the Line Chart appears. As with the Column Chart, we have a vertical axis and we have a horizontal axis. In this case, the horizontal axis is recording the categories of data, and the vertical is recording the values that each data point reaches. And Excel has also added a title, and we have a legend as well. Now the legend we do not need here, so I'm going to delete that, as we only have one series of data. So just click to select the legend and press delete on the keyboard. As with the other chart types, you have all the formatting options, so you've got your design options up here, and you have formatting tools, as well. So these are basically the same as with other chart types. And if I come back to the chart, you'll notice we have a chart area, we have a plot area, and then every other element you can simply select to format accordingly. So if, for example, I wanted my vertical axis to be bold and make it stand out a bit more, just click on it. I can right click, choose B for bold. Uh, the same with the horizontal axis, right click, B for bold and so on. So you can format the chart in the same way. Now if I just come back to the layout view and something useful for line charts, if I come across to the right side of the layout tab in the chart tools and click on the drop down there where it says lines, you'll notice we have this thing called drop lines. And if I just click on that, you'll see what happens on the chart that we have additional vertical lines appear that link the category names to the data points. So that might just make it a bit easy for people to read a line chart and see where the data points are appearing and the appropriate label. So I'm going to remove those lines for now. So simply go back to the lines option and choose none. One of the problems with line charts is that when your vertical axis begins at zero and your data doesn't start until sometime in the thousands, you have this huge blank area where nothing is plotted. And that can sometimes make your chart look a bit unusual and compresses the data so you don't see the changes quite as clearly. Now this one isn't too bad, but we're going to exaggerate the changes anyway. And to do that, you simply right click on the vertical axis, go to Format Axis, and you'll see here we have a number of options. Now at the moment, they're all set to Automatic, and I'm going to change the minimum value. So to do that, I simply click on the fixed option and I can now choose my minimum value and I'm actually going to set that to 1000. I'll leave the other values as they are for now. Click on close and you'll immediately see the changes in the chart are much easier to see and they're quite exaggerated. Now if somebody viewing this chart didn't realize that it started at a thousand and not zero they might think the changes were more dramatic than they actually are. And this is something you commonly see on news programs where they might want to show share price changes. And they certainly will not be starting at zero when they show their charts. 
and they do that so they can exaggerate the appearance of day-to-day -day changes. Now at the moment there's nothing on the line to indicate where the data point changes are so one thing you can do is add some data point markers and to do that you can simply click on the line anywhere just right click go to format data series and you'll see we have one of the options is marker options click on that you have the automatic option but I'm going to choose the built-in click on the drop down and we can choose a particular shape I'll just choose the circle there and you can modify the size actually if I just move the dialog to one side you'll see a little live preview as I change the uh, options here so if I increase the size to 10 we can go to the marker fill options and I can choose a solid fill perhaps have a stronger color maybe make it red and I can even make the marker color transparent so it's slightly faded out if I want to I'll leave it to zero transparency for now so it's solid click on close just click away there and you can see now that the data points stand out very strongly indeed now if I want to also add some labels to these data points what I do here is click on any one of those data points highlights them all right click come down to add data labels and you'll see it immediately adds on the values next to the data points as well so there were the few simple changes have made the chart perhaps display the information a bit more clearly in the next tutorial we'll look at line charts with multiple series and also how you can very quickly update your charts so thank you very much for watching i hope you found this tutorial useful and i'll see you next time